The bipartisan invitation masked political divisions over the Prime Minister's handling of the war against Hamas, including the recent attacks he has orchestrated in Rafah. By Annie Carney reporting from Washington, the top four congressional leaders formally invited Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel on Friday to address a joint meeting of Congress. In a show of bipartisan unity that masked a fraught behind-the-scenes debate over receiving him, the invitation, which set no date, came amid deep political divides in the United States over the war between Israel and Hamas, which has intensified after Israel's recent attacks in Rafah. Speaker Mike Johnson had been pressing to issue the invitation for weeks, seeking to hug Mr. Netanyahu closer as some Democrats, particularly progressives, repudiate him and condemn his tactics in the war which have caused tens of thousands of civilian casualties in Gaza and a humanitarian disaster for Palestinians. Republicans have unequivocally backed Mr. Netanyahu's policies, while Democrats, many of whom view his far-right government as an impediment to peace, have been deeply split over them. On Friday, Mr. Biden called for a permanent ceasefire and said, it's time for this war to end. Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, Democrat of New York and the majority leader, earlier this year called for Mr. Netanyahu to step down and for new elections. In response, Mr. Netanyahu assailed Mr. Schumer in a closed-door virtual speech to Senate Republicans. Mr. Schumer at the time had refused to allow Mr. Netanyahu to make a similar address to Senate Democrats, arguing that it was not helpful to Israel for the Prime Minister to address American lawmakers in a partisan fashion. Even before the invitation went out on Friday afternoon, the prospect of Mr. Netanyahu's visit to the Capitol had divided Democrats. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont said he would boycott a speech from the Prime Minister, and House progressives said they would plan some sort of gesture to register their opposition to Mr. Netanyahu's government and to his presence at the Capitol. The top four congressional leaders have formally invited Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to address a joint meeting of Congress. We join the state of Israel in your struggle against terror, especially as Hamas continues to hold American and Israeli citizens captive and its leaders jeopardize regional stability, the letter from House Speaker Mike Johnson, House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell reads. For this reason, on behalf of the bipartisan leadership of the United States House of Representatives and the United States Senate, we would like to invite you to address a joint meeting of Congress. The letter, which does not provide a date for the address, is signed by the top Democrats and Republicans in the House and Senate. The invitation comes after much speculation as additional military aid to Israel remains in question and Democrats are facing pressure from their left wing as the party remains divided over Israel's handling of the war against Hamas. President Joe Biden on Friday laid out a three-phase proposal Israel has submitted to wind down the grinding crisis in Gaza, claiming that Hamas no longer is capable of carrying out another October 7. Biden made the argument that Israel has met its stated goals for its operation in Gaza and that the time has arrived to stop the fighting as part of a deal to release Israeli hostages held by Hamas. Less than an hour after Biden detailed the Israeli proposal, Netanyahu's office insisted Israel would not end the war until Hamas is defeated and all of its goals are achieved. CNN previously reported that during a closed-door conference meeting in March, House Republicans raised the idea of inviting Netanyahu. Following the meeting, Johnson told reporters that it's one of the things that we have in mind, adding that it's very important for us to show solidarity and support for Israel right now. This story has been updated with additional information. CNN's Kanita Iyer, Haley Talbot, Melanie Zanona, Claire Foran, Kevin Liptak, Nikki Carvajal, and Samantha Waldenberg contributed to this report. Israeli Prime Minister set to deliver address to Congress despite growing anger over his government's abuses in Gaza. The top legislators in the United States have issued a formal invitation for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to deliver a speech to Congress in the latest show of support for Israel amid its war on Gaza. The invite by Republican and Democratic leaders in the Senate and House of Representatives on Friday came as the International Criminal Court considers issuing an arrest warrant for Netanyahu over alleged war crimes. To build on our enduring relationship and to highlight America's solidarity with Israel, we invite you to share the Israeli government's vision for defending democracy, combating terror, and establishing a just and lasting peace in the region, the letter said. It did not specify a date for the speech. I am honored to invite Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu to address a joint meeting of Congress.
pic.twitter.com slash rekx0z1p93 speaker mike johnson at speaker johnson may 31st 2024 the letter was signed by house speaker mike johnson democratic house leader hakeem jeffries senate majority leader chuck schumer and republican minority leader mitch mcconnell if he accepts the invitation Netanyahu would surpass the late former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill as the foreign leader who has delivered the most speeches to a joint session of Congress. Churchill, who led his country through World War II and helped defeat Nazi Germany, and Netanyahu have each addressed Congress on three separate occasions. Netanyahu has been facing global outrage over Israel's apparent abuses in Gaza, where the Israeli military has killed more than 36,000 people and destroyed large parts of the territory. Israel has also imposed a strict blockade in Gaza, bringing the territory to the verge of famine. Netanyahu's government defied its Western allies, including the United States, this month by launching a major assault in Rafah in southern Gaza, where nearly 1.5 million Palestinians have been sheltering. The offensive has displaced 1 million Palestinians. An Israeli bombing of a camp for displaced people in Rafah earlier this month killed 45 Palestinians and sparked international outrage. But the U.S. Congress remains staunchly pro-Israel, although some Democrats have been increasingly critical of Netanyahu. In March, Schumer called for a new election in Israel and described Netanyahu as an obstacle to peace, citing the Israeli Prime Minister's opposition to the two-state solution. The congressional invite on Friday brought anger from Palestinian rights advocates. Actor Cynthia Nixon, CA.